Hey guys, it's me, a little farfetched, and welcome back to Pokemon Hardcore World. Today, we are doing the Lighthouse Quest. I leveled up my Pokemon a little bit. Since we're not fighting the gym this episode, I didn't get them to level 28. I got them up to level 26. Zap got to level 27. So, the goal of this episode is to basically get to where we're going to face the gym later. Like... What? Our goal for this episode is to get to Sandwood Gym. And get enough of the trainers faced to where we are taking on the gym in the next episode. Because I want the next episode to be a double gym battle. So this might be a shorter episode than normal. I don't know. All that needs to be accomplished is getting through the lighthouse, surfing to... Seanwood City, which I picked up Surf in between episodes. I forgot you have to pick up Surf. It's just in Ecritique City, where the Camino girls are. Team Rocket is fighting one of the Camino girls, so you take down the Team Rocket, and then you're given Surf after that. So hopefully, this will either be a shorter episode than normal, or right on the mark of episode time. I don't think it's going to be longer than normal, because we're not doing too much. We're just going through the lighthouse quest. I call it the lighthouse quest, really it's the... Sick and Frost quest. If anything. Because the whole thing behind this quest is that I think it's Jasmine's and Frost is sick. And you have to get to the top of the lighthouse in order to encounter Jasmine for some reason. She's like locked herself behind a door. And then you get back through the lighthouse. Then you, like, go down the elevator, probably. It's gonna let us go down the elevator. You surf to sea and wood. Pick up the super potion, and then while you're there, you can take on the gym. And then you surf back to Jasmine's gym. And take on her Pokemon. Which the whole problem with next episode, wanting to take on two gyms at once, is that Jasmine has a level 35 Pokemon. So if I'm wanting to have an okay at time at this, I'm going to have to at least get my Pokemon to level 32 or something like that. Because it's an Onyx, it's a Steelix that's at the level 35, which... If I can at least get Croconaut to level 32-ish, a water type attack should do great on that. I don't know. Okay, I'm actually gonna speed this up. Make this a lot faster. But yeah, I'm going to have to do a lot of off-cam training. Because we need to get to level 32 at least, which will overpower us for Sandwood's gym. But I think it's the only way we're going to be able to take on two gyms at once. Two gyms in the next episode, like I want to. So hopefully it'll be fine. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. Um, 
So yeah. Right now, all we're doing is just getting through this quest. So, we just have to get to the top of the lighthouse. I actually don't know how to get to this lighthouse without fail. So I think it's like... No, that leads you to like an item or something. No, it doesn't. I don't know what I'm talking about. Meryl might want to switch. Also, just the fact that Furry now knows non-normal type moves is actually making me happy to have this Pokemon on the team. Because not only does it know like, Surf now, because it's my Surf Pokemon. I use it for Surf whenever I play this game. It's gonna be a lot of switching back and forth in that, because the gym, the battles are gonna take forever. But, it also knows Shadow Ball. Which is going to be awesome. Actually, you know what? No. No speeding up. I thought about it. And I don't want to speed up. But I know Shadow Ball, which is super effective against ghosts. So, ironically, if I take on a ghost-type Pokemon, and I'm having trouble defeating it, I just have to switch over to Furry, because... Then... It can affect me, and I can super affect it. I mean, it won't be a stab move, but... Anything super effective is good. Okay, I love this right here. I love the look of this. Oh, you get a free rare candy here. I forgot about that. I remember I've done a all rare candies. Like, I've been... I've done a playthrough... Where I've gotten all the rare candies I could. I forgot that was a rare candy spot. I think I'm gonna get Pseudo Widow to level 28 and then I'll switch over to another Pokemon. <sighs> Stop. Yeah, it's looking like to me it's gonna be shorter than usual. But hopefully we can get what I want to get done in this episode. And I can make the next gym a double gym episode. Which I think will be Sea Wood and all of Iron City's gyms. And then... We've got the Lake of Rage. I don't know the other two gyms. I think one of them is Blackthorn City Gym. Then there's... I swear, if you could, you better not have used Fury Attack. I can't remember the seventh gym. It's the one before the Lake of Rage. Then, of course, we have to go through the Team Rocket mischief in the Radio Tower, I believe. I believe that's what is the problem, is that Team Rocket's in the radio tower, and you gotta stop them. Because they're taking over the radio tower. I don't know what they're actually doing, but they're taking over the radio tower. I think their whole plan for that is actually to try to get a signal out to Giovanni. I believe that's what the whole thing behind the radio tower takeover was to try to get Giovanni to hear their cries like, we want you back Giovanni because he left after being defeated by Red. 
in leaf green, red leaf green, red, blue, yellow, and ether. I don't need one of those, but let me switch out to crocodile. I don't know why crocodile, but I guess if I do encounter any birds, I do have ice fang. I wonder, are you gonna encounter me too, Sailor? Not, uh, not Sailor, that person. I guess... <sighs> Ice Fang. Oh! Not very effective, but you froze, which is... Pretty good. I think I actually keep Ice Fang whenever I play the game. I think it's Ice Fang I had on my first ever for Alligator. The levels when I first played this game. Like. Oh. You're the person who takes my picture with all my Pokemon. Cheese. Good, good, we got a nice picture. You can see all the pictures in your PC. Okay. Didn't really need my picture taken, but I guess you get to see all my Pokemon sprites. Oh, yay. I don't have that much super effective against you, so I'm just gonna freeze you. Wait a minute. I thought that wouldn't be very effective because fighting is super effective against ice. And usually, when a type is super effective against another type, it's... The type that it's super effective against is never effect really effective against... Actually, why am I not switching out to Crobat? Oh yeah, if you missed the last episode... Zubat double evolved in that episode. I think when he got to level 24, he became a Zubat, a Crobat, a Golbat, because I prevented him from evolving until it was on episode. And then, he evolved, I leveled him up some more for the gym battle that was going to happen. And then, after taking on Morty last episode... He evolved again. Much to my surprise, I didn't actually realize he was going to evolve, I guess. Me keeping him out for two levels in a row got him really happy. A super repel. I actually want to buy some repels for the water. Oh, there we are. This Pokemon always kept the sea lit at night, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understood that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Seanwood, but that's across the sea, and I can't leave Amphi unattended. Oh, well, thank you. Let's get out of here. Let's get Amphi's medicine in Seanwood. I might want to grab some super repels. Also, before we do that, so I don't encounter anything in the water. I think I have enough money to get super repels. I mean, I just did a lot of battles. Oh, yes, I should have enough money. You know what sucks that it's not until black and white 2 that the repels, you can choose it to where you don't have to go into your bag to get the repels. Okay, so now that we can surf, it's time to get into the water. Let me 
Not rare candy. I could use the rare candy, but I'm gonna save it. Our first time surfing. I believe if I remember... Sometimes, I, I don't know if I'm remembering this wrong or not, but I'm pretty sure if you use a special Pokemon while surfing, it'll actually show up as that Pokemon when surfing. I don't know if that's true or not. I might, be, I might just be thinking wrong, but I think certain Pokemon, you'll actually just hop on the back of them when surfing. Like, special Pokemon... I might actually just be stupid here, but... I feel like it's happened before. Let me switch out to... For it! It's a peaceful swim. I like the peaceful music. I'll take on every trainer because we're going to need it. We're going to need it for this upcoming gym battle. So it would just be smarter to take on every trainer I can from this point on. Current, I think, was one of the Pokemon I am actually really good at drawing the Pokemons, not the sprites. I mean, those are easy. All you need is graph paper. And that's real easy to draw. The sprites? But, like, when you see them in battle, I'm really good at drawing those. Or maybe it was just that. What happened? Like, if the Pokemon you're using to surf is out, it will just jump in the water and you hop on it. Maybe that's what I was thinking. I have my phone in front of me. I can't see right now. It's dark. Okay, there's my phone. I believe I made sure the power... Not the power, the sound is down. Just want to make sure before I accidentally play something. Like an ad or something. Oh, apparently surfing Pikachu is in this. You know? I think... I believe I was wrong. It looks like that's only in Oras. I don't know what I'm talking about. I was thinking that's a thing, but apparently I might be wrong. Yeah, I'm definitely wrong. I think I was thinking that for Oras. Because, like, the legendary is Kyogre, and I'm pretty sure if you swim on Kyogre, you can see the Kyogre sprite underneath you. 
I believe that's what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. But it distracted me. Oh, I swear I remember being able to see the Pokemon underneath you in this game when you surf, if there's special Pokemon. I swear there was one game that did that. Off the top of my head right now, I can't think of what that would be, but... Everyone's gonna be level 27 now. Am I gonna get lost? I have no idea how to get to the gym. I'm gonna need a map of the ocean. Oh, it's two different routes. It's Route 40. Ooh, another stab. Okay, I'm gonna replace Supersonic. It's another stab flying move. I'm gonna need to replace one of them with Fly whenever I get Fly. So it looks like Route 40 is just a straight path down. And now to get to the gym. I need to do this. I'll take on some of the other trainers off camera, too. So need to go all the way down and then to the left, and we should be at um, Seenwood. Wait a minute. Why is it out there. Actually, it doesn't matter. They're all level 27 now. For it can stay out. They didn't kill it? <sighs> of course it hits the maximum amount of times. Why wouldn't it? That's fine, let me just quickly heal. I think in the path I'm going to get there, there's like two or three more trainers we have to face. There's at least one. There's at least one more. I don't know if I can avoid the other ones. But if I can, we'll avoid them. I think there's also a person that gives you shuckle down here. Which is also great for randomizers because it's a static encounter. In fact, it's not even a static encounter, it's a gift Pokemon, so you're guaranteed a Pokemon for a playthrough. And usually what I have it is that Regular Pokemon are randomized to regular Pokemon. Legendaries are randomized to legendaries. Because with Leaf Green, you're given three legendaries. The birds before you fight the gym. And I feel like if it were to be randomized, those level... To any Pokemon, those level 15 counters could be something horrible like a Rattata. You can at least skip this person. But I have to fight this person. I'll take on the other people off camera just to train for this episode. Also, I got strength as well. So to the right of Egritique City, there's the cave Mount Mortar, and if you try to go inside of it, a hiker will run out of it, 
and bump into you, and then for bumping into you, he gives you strength. Both literally and probably mentally as well. I don't know how it'd be mentally, I'm just thinking. Okay. Slam does 80. Wait, what? A foe is slammed with a long tail, vines, etc. to inflict damage. Why wouldn't it be part grass type then? It's got horrible accuracy, but it's much better damage than quick attack. Now, I'm not getting rid of Shadow Ball or Surf. I can't get rid of Surf or Cut. And I just learned Shadow Ball. I'm not gonna throw it away. I think there's also the place to get Suicune here. Like, to do more of the Suicune quest. Yeah. Bye, Suicune. Yo, fetch. Wasn't that Suicune just now? I only caught a quick glimpse, but I thought I saw Suicune running on the waves. Suicune is beautiful and grand, and it races through towns and roads at simply awesome speeds. It's wonderful. I want to see Suicune up close. I've decided I'll battle you as a trainer to earn Suicune's respect. Come on, fetch. Let's battle now. I just activated a battle with this guy. Uzine. Uzine. I didn't mean to. But we'll go ahead. And already I hate you more than I hate Morty. Okay, I definitely hate you more than I hate Morty. Okay, enough of this. Crobat, show him how it's done. No, you were so close. And you avoided the attack. Good job, Crobat. Honestly, Crobat's probably become one of my favorite members of the team. I mean, he's already putting in the work. He missed two hypnosis last episode. From a ghastly, which, honestly, I'm pretty sure gave him the win there. And I was so happy I was able to take down Morty without having to deal with hypnosis. Ooh, Thunder does a lot of damage. I think it's like how Hurricane is the highest attacking um, flying move. Hyper Beam is the highest attacking normal move. Thunder is the highest attacking um, electric move. You know what? Crobat never had any time to shine against Ghastlies and Haunters, so... Not Crobat, Croconaw. So, you can take on this Ghastly. I mean, Haunter. And... You just became... Crobat's cousin. Mystery Man Uzine. I hate to admit it, but you win. You're amazing, Fetch. I'm starting to understand why Suicune was keeping an eye on you. I'm going to keep searching for Suicune. I have a feeling we'll see each other around. Again, see you around. What is this cave? Entrance to the Safari Zone. Oh no, not the photographer. 
Okay, I think this is the mart. Where you get the special potion for... Um, Ampharos. The secret potion. I also think you can't actually buy items in this town. Like, can you? You can buy potions and revives and stuff like that, but I think that's it. I'm gonna buy some full heals. Then we should be fine. And you know what? I know... I'm supposed to be leveling them up equally. But I'm just gonna send Zubat out for the trainers before fighting the gym leader for the gym since they're all fighting type. Zubat should be do should do Crobat should do well against them. And we'll just have everyone else here as backup if Crobat falls to them. Okay, I think he's the leader. And you have to get the water to shut off. I think. Perfect. Send out another fighting tape. See, the levels are starting to catch up with me. Last episode, we were right there at the levels, and now they're getting caught up. Because I didn't do the most training that I could have in between episodes, because... I wanted to get to... I wanted to go to sleep before 1 o'clock, and it's about 12 now. 8 minutes till 12. So, I did the shortest amount of grinding I could, and just continued on recording a second episode. I could have just waited to do this episode tomorrow, or the next day, it'll already be tomorrow. Because I'm filming this on a Tuesday, and it's going to go up on Wednesday, the next day. I could have filmed it on Wednesday. But I didn't want to. Because I wanted to get both the Heart Gold episodes done. I kind of want to film a third episode of Heart Gold, but I want to stay with the schedule and only do two in a row. Because I'm really excited for how the battle is going to go. For, um, really excited to see how doing two gyms in one episode is going to go. Okay, it's good. Take it down. No! Air cutter is not any better. I think Mach Punch was a priority move because I was faster than this Pokemon. And priority moves always go first. Whether or not they actually hit is a different story. Yes. Was that what I was supposed to do? Let me... Well, actually, I think after I fight this person, I'm gonna end off the episode. It'll be a shorter episode than... Like, I try to make them at least 40 minutes, but this is gonna be shorter than 40 minutes. Like, the first ever episode... Not the first ever episode. It's happened before. 
But the first one in a long time that's been near the actual time I wanted him to be. Oh, Primeape, you really want to do that? You want to survive an air cutter? Wait a minute, so when Crobat leveled up, it learned a flying type move that was worse than one it already knew. That makes sense, I guess. In some weird alternate universe. Level 29, that's actually pretty good. I mean, I could take on the gym now if I wanted to. I don't think it would harm anything if I took on the gym. I feel like there's something you have to do on the left side. No, it's just you have to make the water stop. So, I'm going to end off this episode here. Hopefully, in the next episode, I can get it to where we'll fight two gems in the episode. If I can, that'll be awesome. I'm going to make sure I save. Because I'm still worried about what happened when Platinum happening again. So, yeah, I'm going to end off this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.